what really helps us punch through is the fact that we're using Starlink. We're, we're operating at just a much higher frequency. That's not what we want to see. So we started, we just saw some of the aft skirt just take a hit. All right, so at this point, the flaps have control. That means we're getting into a dense enough part of the atmosphere that the flaps can start controlling us. We're not only reliant on those kind of reaction control system thrusters. Look at our Raptors there. We are assuming we make it all the way down to the ocean in one piece. We will attempt a flip and a landing burn. All right, so we're about 10 minutes until we're probably going to start hearing some of the other big milestones coming up. All right, so about 55 and a half minutes in, you can see the sun is up. Again, we intentionally designed these flights to lift off in the evening here so we get these daylight views so we can get as good a video as possible on the ship, assuming we make it all the way down. We've got at least one buoy powered by Starlink that's out there in the landing zone in the Indian Ocean, hopefully giving us a view again. If you see any live views uh, not from the ship itself, that means we nailed our landing target. Starship is past peak heating. All right, we just heard the call out that we're past peak heating, so things are looking good so far. Yeah, looking good. And at this point, again, the, the flaps are controlling. So this movement you're seeing is that forward flap uh, moving to try and just maintain maintain control, maintain attitude of the, of the vehicle as we're coming down. In that indicator at the very bottom right uh, that we've pitched up quite a bit. So again, we are we are maximally stressing those aft flaps right now. Looks like we got a little bit of burn through the very bottom part of it. Everything's still looking good, ship maintaining control. We should be just about five minutes away until we hear that we're transonic.